Hello all, welcome to Tutlings. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to debug reprogramming language on Visual Studio Code. For that, I'm on the Windows operating system. I have downloaded the official V binaries. Here you can see the downloaded archive. And I have also downloaded the Visual Studio Code here. So let me go ahead and install Visual Studio Code. And also let me navigate to the downloads directory where I have downloaded V for Windows. Let me unblock the archive. And we will extract the V binaries to the C drive directly. Click on extract. So here in the background we see that VS setup is finished. So meanwhile, the V is being installed in the background. You can just switch back to VS Code and install the necessary extensions. The first thing that we are going to uh, install is C, C++ debugger. Here you can see. Click on install. which is installed successfully. And the next thing is like, we have to get the MIG64 for Windows. So click open this link and scroll down. You will find a link to Ming 64 link download section. So wait for the installer to download. And here you see the installer is downloaded. Click on the executable and click on next. Select x86 64. Click on next and here in the destination folder, change the folder to MNGW and remove everything and click on next. Wait for the download of the archive to be finished. And now it is installing the main or Windows 10 64 bit version. Alright, the installation has completed. Click on next and finish. To check the installation has successfully completed or not, open the command prompt and type the command. Replace this space version. Looks like it's not there. So let's open environment variables and we will add the bin directory to the environment variables. Click on OK and relaunch the command prompt. Let's press now you see the Ming is successfully installed. Also, let's run the GDB version. Alright, everything is set up for 
debugging and now we switch back to Visual Studio Code and search for VLAN. Here you see the first search result. Click on install. Okay. Now Visual Studio Code is equipped with all the packages or extensions that are necessary to debug VLAN. Let's close it. And the one final step we have to do is add the V binaries to the environment variables. For that, navigate to the installation directory where V is located, copy the path, add this to environment variables. On the system variables, can you under the path and click on OK, OK, finally save the changes and close. Open the command prompt V version. We have the version 0.2.2 installed. Now let's open Visual Studio Code and let's open a directory. Somewhere on this PC, we can let's go to C drive. Let's make a directory named hello. And here, let's create a file named hello.v and let's write a program module main which indicates the main module for this project let's create a function main which is the entry point for this project let's create a variable named i and assign it with value 100 and let's print variable to the standard output. Now we will open the terminal and we will ensure that the terminal is command prompt and we let's run whether this program runs successfully or not. Hello.v. So you see the value i is printed to the console. So <clears throat> in order to debug, we need to generate the uh, executable of this program. For that, run the command vg hello.v. So you see the hello.exe is generated. The next thing is we are going to set up debugging mm -hmm. configuration for this project. Navigate to debug. Run and debug. Click on show all automatic debug configurations. You will see add configuration option. Click on it. Select C, CDB, LLDB. This will create a launch.json file under the .vs code directory, which is uh, created by the Visual Studio Code. Here, the program is the executable we just generated. So delete this, let the workspace folder be there, which is read as an environment variable. And the exe will be the name of the exe that we just generated, which is hello.exe. And here is the MI debugger path. Let's go back to the Ming installation. We have installed it in C directory, Ming, Ming64, bin. And here you will find VDB by selecting the GDB or you can see the option here. Click on the copy path and navigate back to the Visual Studio Code. Paste the path. Ensure that you are not making any mistakes. All the backward slashes needs to be escaped in order for the debugger to work. 
okay all right so the next thing is we are going to add breakpoint here and what we'll do is go back to run debug again and click on the go icon now you can see the debugging you can step through the lines by clicking on f10 and here is the output the terminal and here is the debug console and here you will see the call stack that is happening across any number of threads that are running you can add variables that you want to watch here let's say i want to watch the variable i and see it's i so the next thing is let's say we have a very huge project and that is having some modules in v so here is an example that i just created uh, we have a test module named mod1 we have a file and that has a public function create and that returns hello from things and it as it has a string type string return type we have to specify the type that is being returned and now getting back to the main hello.v we have to import this module to consume the greet method import the module name is mod1 and to access the mod1 method greet you have to call mod1.greet and uh, take the response in a variable let's say message and we will be printing message and let's get rid of the integer variable and save the changes and let's switch back to the command prompt let's see let's wait the changes by typing v red dot okay so we don't have any uh, errors except warnings but that's okay now we will generate a executable <clears throat> remember every time you want to debug after making changes you have to generate a new executable as this executable is compiled on the old code this will still have the old functionality so let's delete that and this time we are not going to give the command hello.p but we want to uh, create an executable that contains the entire functionality including the mod one or any other modules that are present in this project so for that run v space hyphen g space dot and you will see uh, hello.exe is created ensure that the name of the executable is in sync with what you have referred in the program value of the json so all set and this time we will debug through the function that is created inside the module mod1 and for that i have added a breakpoint inside the function and let me go ahead and click on debug and click on this icon and see how it goes okay we have hit the breakpoint that we have placed in the main method of the main module and hit f11 that will lead you to the module once method greet and you'll see 
this function has been evaluated and finally print the message hello from details so the only problem i found as of the date that i am recording this video is there is some problem with printing the values that are held by the variables i is no longer in this context so i can do it so that is the only challenge but uh, everything else if you want to understand how the flow is going on you can just uh, follow these steps or instructions that are mentioned till now all right so that's about it uh, if you like this video please give it a like if you have any other questions please shoot it out in the comment section and if you are having any challenges let me know in the comments and please do subscribe to this channel Wish you good luck and have a great day.